Hey everybody, I'm Jason Creel, and today I'm gonna to be looking at a lawn that's got centipede and St. Augustine grass in it. And I'm gonna give you some tips for the springtime on what to do with your centipede and St. Augustine lawns. Let's get started with that right now. I'm gonna tell you what I do in the spring to centipede and St. Augustine lawns. I'm gonna show you what the grass looks like right now, tell you what I do and explain to you why I do what I do. All right, so a friend of mine uh, moved into this house and I said, uh, he's like, you need to come and make some videos in my yard. I said, okay. So we got to looking at his grass and, and I'm shooting this video in uh, March. And sometimes when the grass is in this transition time, it's it can be a little bit difficult to even tell what kind of grass it is but when we got to looking at it figure out he, he's basically got a combination of saint augustine and centipede now in the back i, I get, get back there and you got a bunch of carpet grass and stuff like that but if you'll look at uh let me just find some that looks a little better give me just a minute here all right so we found some some saint augustine grass here and it's it's been you know, you can tell it's still a lot of it's brown, but it's definitely starting to turn green. We got up in the 80s last week and just thinking, what can we do for this yard? Because when you look at the yard, there's weeds everywhere. I mean, just all kind of weeds. You got onions, you got clover, you got uh, purple dead nettle, you know, there's more clover. You got stuff like these uh, ryegrass or fescue clumps in the yard. You know, you come over here, you got more weeds, you got dandelions and just all kind of stuff. You get in here, there's, uh, that's called field matter. You got, um, anyway, lots of weeds, you get the point. And it's a yard and you think, well, we want to fix this yard. And you get out here, as I get out here closer to the road, it's like it starts turning into centipede grass. Again, same kind of situation. You got some green, a lot of brown. Looks like the St. Augustine might be a little more green. I don't know, about the same. I'd claim both of them. If I was gonna give a number on, I'd say they're about 40% green up at this point. You got hen bit over here. Lots of burr weed in the back. Tons of purple dead metal in the yard. So when you look at a yard like this, what do you think? You know, initial response is, well, we need to spray this yard and get the weeds cleaned up. Well. Here's what uh, you know. What I would have done if, if I had it to do over again, it was they just moving in the house, so it wasn't this option. But normally, would have sprayed this in in January or February when it was totally dormant or mostly dormant. And what I've been doing is using a, a, a low rate of prodiamine, which is a pre-emergent, and then also mixing that with some atrazine, so like 20 ounces per acre of atrazine and that's my my post emerge i'm trying to get rid of these weeds now it's slow very slow but it will help get rid of your uh, your hen bit your purple dead nettle your clover i mean it's going to get rid of a lot of these weeds and, and even better yeah most of these could have been prevented with a, a fall pre-emergent back in september october time frame now one thing's worth mentioning, I'm in Birmingham, Alabama market. These time frames I'm giving you are gonna be different if you're further south. I know we're about as northern areas you're gonna really find, uh, unless you're like on the coast or something, uh, as far as you're gonna find a lot of St. Augustine grass. You know, if you, the further south you go, the more you're gonna see. Of course, Florida, you know, y'all's St. Augustine may be fully green by the springtime, but ours is just now waking up from winter time. And what I want to hesitate, what I want you to get you to hesitate on doing is seeing the weeds in your yard right now during the spring transition and going out there and blasting it with a bunch of herbicides. So, you know, at this time of year during transition, what we've done hopefully is already applied the atrazine. But if you haven't yet, then atrazine is one that you typically can use. Like I said, I'm using it like 20 ounces per acre. Oftentimes people say, well, how do you know how much to put in, in a gallon of sprayer? Well, you have to you have to uh, calibrate yourself to know how many gallons you're spraying per thousand square feet and then you'll know how to mix it. Uh, there is a video if you just search the Lawn Care Life calibration, there's a detailed video on that. Anyway, point being, you wanna hesitate on spraying other things other than the um, atrazine on this lawn because the atrazine can take care of the weeds. Now, to be honest with you, some of them are gonna start dying out as they get hot. But if you were to go in here with like 
um, Celsius or, or Metzulfuron or uh, Change Up or some of the other common products that I would use on a lawn like this, sometimes during that spring transition where it's part green, part brown, it can really delay the green up. So we're gonna ask you not to do that, to do it when it's fully brown or wait until it, till you know, later, give it another month or so until it's fully green. Like I tell people sometimes, you'll, you'll wait till May, then we can come in here and spray it no problem and get rid of your weeds at that point in time. Uh, and the other thing, as far as a nutritional thing, sometimes I get customers and they want their yard to be the greenest one first, earliest in the spring. Well, uh, I get that, but a lot of that has to do with, with the weather and I, you don't want to start pushing a bunch of nitrogen on the lawn um, to, you know, because it, it, it's not going to be able to use a lot of the nitrogen you're putting out there if the weather's still cold. And the grass is, like I said, it's barely growing at this point. Matter of fact, I'm not sure it's growing much at all. It's just, you know, starting to, you know, it's, it's just barely coming out of dormancy. So let me show you um, what my sales rep told me and how we approach our centipede in St. Augustine lawns during this spring transition. So I've got a few products here I want to show you. It's kind of two different options depending on whether you want to spread something granular or spray. And this isn't to, to explain to you everything about um, lawn care, but it can at least give you an option. You don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, but it can sort of explain the, the strategy that I'm using on the lawn. So this here you'll see is a that's upside down. Let me see. I buy my products from Harold's, and this is a Harold's. It's a 2216 blend. Anyway, well, what are those numbers? It's your nitrogen and your uh, phosphorus and your potassium, NPK. So, on those situations, you think, well, what, what do those numbers do? Well, the nitrogen is the one that, that usually promotes the growth, the green leafy growth. So, the reason we have it's only 2% nitrogen. And we're trying to help, you know, help the grass start to, to grow a little bit, but you're not wanting to put a lot of nitrogen down like you would do uh, once the grass is fully green. So I would imagine in a, if you had a cool season lawn in the spring, you're probably going to put more nitrogen in it because it's starting to really take off. Uh, for us with the warm season grasses, you know, in about May is when we start putting the higher nitrogen uh, fertilizers down in my area because then, by then the grass is green and starting to grow. And then your P and your K, you know, it's helping that lawn recover from from um, winter. So helping it with the root development, and, and just what you're doing here is is you're you're helping give that some nutrients nutrients to the soil to help this lawn recover. But what you're also doing is you're not bombarding it with uh, with more herbicides that are going to stun its growth. And and you know, it's kind of a addition by subtraction in a wheel if you will so if you're able to spray it uh, now with the atrazine you're not going to cause too much damage but putting those other things on it is going to set it back and when you do that it's you know when you put the fertilizer on it's going to give it those nutrients to help it start recovering all right so the other option if you don't want to use the granular program this is what i do sometimes and and i don't to be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure what all this does, but th these are the three uh, products that that I mix together. And my sales guy from Harold's, he he's an agronomist, so he tells me he's like, you know, this is this is going to accomplish the same thing again. The purpose here is not stunning your lawn, not beating it up with herbicides during a difficult time. When it's fully brown, spray it. When it's fully green, spray it. But when it's in this transition don't spray it with herbicide so you got this product here uh, and, and it's you know it's you're putting a bunch of nutrients back into the soil so you got magnesium uh, uh, sulfur iron and manganese and then earth max you, you probably heard people talk about like uh, humic acid and things like that and then of course this is going to have just a little bit of nitrogen it's a liquid um, versions got some calcium and some potash so same idea you're providing some nutrients you're getting things back in the soil you're getting the grass waking up from winter time and trying to to help it uh, and then let's see if you want to mix the, the atrazine that'll be fine if you spray it with atrazine it's not going to get rid of of a lot of these weeds it's not going to get rid of the field matter it's not going to get rid of these grassy weeds like this it's not going to get rid of your poa annua 
but some of that, like the poa and, and uh, some of these other weeds are going to die out when the heat comes. And then once it turns green, if you want to go in there with a, a quarter ounce per acre of metsulfuron and a very low rate of change up, that's a good combination. That can, can work on centipede and uh, St. Augustine lawns and to be able to clean up other weeds. You may have some summer weeds. Hopefully, and thankfully, in, in uh, these type lawns, you're typically not going to get a whole lot of crabgrass. But if you do, you know, you start... Um, hammering that with Celsius and uh, you know post-emergent products to try to get rid of that but I don't think crabgrass is gonna be a problem for this yard I just don't want to rush in here and start spraying it with stuff until it turns green and then uh, and then when it get to, to May we can put uh, the fertilizer I use is a 1819 blend again it's gonna have a lot more nitrogen content but because then the grass is turning green I can spray it I can put more nitrogen and really get this thing transformed so I'll say this sometimes these these lawns if you'll just start mowing them it'll make a big difference in the weeds so if you get tired of looking at the weeds just start mowing it regular now this is an ideal combination to have St. Augustine and Centipede together. They, they can have some similar characteristics in how they look. But Centipede, we like to mow very low, like one inches to, to one and a half, maybe up to two. But, you know, keeping it low, St. Augustine, you want to keep it high. So I don't know how they're going to mow this yard uh, having some Centipede, some St. Augustine. Maybe one grass type will take over the other. If you know the answer to which one's going to win out, I would like to to know that as well. I appreciate you watching the video. Hopefully it was helpful and the tips can help you have a great lawn. Sometimes you just don't want to be too anxious jumping out there, um, spraying too much stuff on the lawn when it's in that spring transition. So uh, if you hadn't done so, I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. You can go over to lawncarelife.com and check out the resources available for you there. There's over 600 videos on the channel, so you can check those out by clicking on Lawn Care Life, my channel name, below. Talk to you guys later. Bye.